Welcome back everybody to Does What It Likes, and today we're unboxing the Zori Bliss from the Star Wars Black series, and this one is by Hasbro. She did appear as this cool, mysterious character from Rise of the Skywalker, so I'm pretty excited to unbox her now. Here's a quick spin of the box, and mostly we get it is a very simplistic black and red theme with some text on the back. Alright, you know what time it is. Next we have the figure and it's clear inner packaging and everything you could see from the front window is exactly what you get on the inside. There isn't even this boring black base to speak of, which I am more satisfied to just get nothing than a boring black base. Starting off with accessories though, she does come with just the bare minimum. You only get two handguns and nothing else. On the plus side though, they do look really cool. As for paint and sculpt, I am really digging her black, gold, and red theme. The helmet is this excellently designed gold color that comes with so many tiny weather details. I am just in love with it. Then as well, her suit comes with this awesome maroon color overall. And then there are some straps and sculpted little details. It's really just a pleasure to look at. I really love as well that her two gun holsters have the handles of the guns facing forward. That just looks so badass. As for range of motion, these Hasbro figures do pretty well as their arms usually bend past the 90 degree angle and then as well, the knees are double jointed. For Zori, she lives up to these expectations exactly as her knees are double jointed and her arms do bend up pretty far. So overall, you're going to get some pretty good dynamic poses with this figure. So there she is next to Figment Major. There she is next to Micah Myers by NECA. There she is next to Reika from Gantz. And lastly, there she is next to the one for Scaryoko, the bunny version. Alright, and so overall, I really like having this figure as she comes with great quality, excellent range of motion, and then as well, she comes with two awesome handguns. The drawbacks are is that that is all she comes with. There are no extra face plates, no extra hands, nothing. What you see is exactly what you get. But for 20 bucks, I would say that this is a pretty good price to pay for this kind of a figure. Otherwise, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts, follow me on my figure collection, and I'll see you guys next time. I'm...